I'm here at the FT Commodities Global Summit with Soren Schroeder, Chief Executive of Bungie, one of the world's largest processors and traders of agricultural commodities. Welcome. Thank you very much. The USDA yesterday outlined a record acreage planted with soybeans. Uh, Brazil will probably have a record soybean crop this year. The U.S. had a record corn crop last year. Would you say the era of tight supplies for agricultural commodities is finally over? No, I think that's too early to say. Um, we need to go through a good and, and uh, favorable growing season in the United States to, to confirm that. But if we do, I would say that chances of rebuilding stocks to the point where we can see at least through one more crop cycle without a lot of risk uh, is there. But uh, we have to plant the crop and we have to bring it home in the fall. So too early to tell and therefore the market will most likely continue to price a risk premium for that for the next several months to come. If we do have a large U.S. crop this year and stocks rebuild, we may see price volatility die down. How does that affect your, your merchandising business and your opportunities in terms of moving crops from one place to another? Um, in, in general, uh, we probably are moving from a period of higher volatility to one of less volatility, especially if we confirm a good U.S. crop. Uh, and so our profitability will most likely be replaced from dislocation opportunities to one of running our asset base harder, uh, higher capacity utilization and better structural margins, and that's what we are preparing for. That being said, uh, we need another good crop in South America next year to say for sure that we've built global stocks to the point of there being no volatility left. Uh, I believe that volatility is something that will stay with us for quite a while. So we're still in a precarious situation. We are still, I think, I think it was mentioned at the conference earlier today, we are still living on a very delicate balance sheet, and I don't think that will change anytime soon. How important is the Black Sea region to supplying global grain markets on a long-term basis? And will the current events potentially happening, unfolding in the Black Sea region potentially disrupt the investment that's necessary to develop the Black Sea as a, a major crop exporting region? Well, uh, we, we look at the Black Sea and Brazil as the two primary sources for future trade growth. Uh, and I believe that the Black Sea will will live up to that. Uh, currently, the current geopolitical tensions obviously have some people questioning uh, investments and such. Uh, my belief that is that this will, this will settle down and that the investments in the Ukraine in particular, but also Russia will continue and that particularly for wheat but also corn, the Black Sea will, will grow to be a serious powerhouse for global supply. Bungie has struggled in Brazil with its sugar milling business along with the rest of the milling industry there. Broadly speaking, what needs to happen in the next year, two years, or three years, industry-wide, for, for the sugar milling to right itself? Well, the, what should happen is an adjustment of the domestic gasoline price to the global international gasoline price so that Brazil no longer has to import gasoline and then sell it at a discount in the domestic market. By doing such, it would lift the level of ethanol pricing to one that would make the sugarcane milling industry profitable again. Uh, that's the first thing that has to happen. It is unlikely to happen anytime soon, but over the next two to three years, I would expect a gradual move towards that. The other thing that should happen is consolidation. Uh, the milling business in Brazil is very uh, scattered uh, and very big difference between best in class and not. Uh, so I suspect that the many hundreds of mills that are today operating at below optimal efficiency will somehow over a period of time be consolidated with those who are really top tier performers and through that the Brazilian industry will regain its, uh, its, its position as the most competitive producer of sugar and ethanol in the world. Soren Schroeder of Bungie, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much.